Okay, what society endorses may not always be in the best interest of society. We recently saw a spate of reported rape cases in the country leading to the Say No to Rape campaigns and the social media storm that often follows topical issues. In Anambra State, there were apparently 80 cases during lockdown alone. However, are we ready to address the culture that predates and even nourishes a sense of entitlement, which can lead to rape? Are we ready to take on what I would call the elephant in the room? I'm aware that rape is not distinctly a Nigerian problem. Nonetheless, since charity begins at home, I want to talk about a certain culture of Nigerian masculinity and the predatory instinct. According to one dictionary, a predator is an, any animal that lives by preying on other animals. From a human perspective though, a lot of predators would not identify themselves as such because society has made it socially acceptable and even cool to be predatory. I recently came across the expression, pita, rice, kill, and eat. And I wasn't referring to four-footed beasts. Go figure. Is it not this predatory instinct that results in the vulnerable amongst us being at the mercy of those supposed to protect them? In one context, it's the game of life, where women, sometimes men, or the vulnerable, are seen literally as fair game. In another context, it comes at a significant cost. Typically, those preyed upon are those, uh, often those with a weaker sense of self-assurance, or at least those who haven't learned to bluff it. Those who soon learn, albeit not soon enough, that openness is, as far as they're <laughs> concerned, an invitation to violation and abuse. We haven't even begun to address the subtle psychological uh, scars of sexual objectification amidst a largely patriarchal society. In other words, or in other societies, it has inspired the Me Too movement. Whereas here, that movement has barely left first gear. I wonder why that is. Incredibly, to date, we have little or no clearly stated recourse in Nigerian law to sexual molestation in the workplace, believe it or not. A mature man once said, I have learned that to be a man, I don't need to see women as beings to be conquered. This conquest mentality, as I like to term it, applies in other areas of life too and can be a two-way traffic between the sexes. Colleagues are not competitors, neither is your spouse. Subordinates are not there to serve us, neither are our children. The electorate are not objects of manipulation and exploitation and so on. That leaves a whole scope of other supportive relationships to be explored. Brave new world. For the erstwhile victims, my counsel is first, Know and accept yourself. You don't need affirmation or validation from another, especially since we all are imperfect beings learning lessons in perfection. Then learn the signs of the predators and equally learn to look them in the eye without blinking. There is no need to apologize for not playing by their rules, even if it makes you seem uncool. So what? Finally, pass on the lessons you have learned from your education in survival so that others, aside from you, can have the empowering experience of surviving the predators amongst us. Um, I can I was see you shaking one. your head, no, you're distracting no, no, me. Because, no, because <laughs> that right. was my quote. Yeah, I took Rise, it from him. Peter King I, and I, Eats. Yes, so. exactly it wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> about know. predatory. Mm. It was about it was about let me let me explain it. Okay. You find out that if you are the cool guy, you in Nigeria today, you are the cool guy who believes, oh look, I need to I have I need to be loyal and um, to my partner. You go out with other guys, and then there are so many female who are seeking like your buffy. attention. So many of them. Mm. Because the attention is like one once asks, is the guy handsome? And what is the meaning of handsome? Is his hand holding something. Hey. And so Nemo. once <laughs> your hand is holding something. Oh my word. And then the next thing is, ah, why relax? Why, why, this is, we are all here for you. Rise, Peter, kill and eat. Yeah. And so now the killing, mean, it, it, that's what I'm saying, the killing is your cash. The killing is your money. You use your money to kill what you eat. Okay. And, and so that's why you see, just the same way we are complaining that our young men no longer want to walk. And the same way you see young girls drive expensive cars, you know, you see young girls also live in big houses, paid for by men. They are not predicting on, on those female. Some of them are volunteers. They, on their own, they tell you they don't even... I met you a see lady... what I don't like about Wait, let me this. finish. Yeah. I met a lady in Abuja who I was trying to fix a job for. And she was telling me why should she wake up by seven to go and 
be jumping to one office when she can sit down and a man will provide all that she needs. That's one mentality also that we need also to try to change. So but if you now make it look as if, oh yes, the men are Taking, uh, advantage object, of taking advantage of the women. I think yeah, yeah. also I you think need to understand that women also yeah. are taking advantage of the men, yeah. and then also making themselves look like objects. Fair you know, to be taken advantage yeah. or to be bought. A lady who presents herself as a commodity will be bought. Will be bought. Mm. Interesting. I, I, yeah. But you must know that there's there's some there's a shift in the way things used to be. Nowadays, we have a lot of women who have financial power much more than the, the, the guys, much more than the women. So what you said, I mean, the men, what, so what you said about you have more women driving expensive cars. They no, can, I'm not they talking about those it. ones who can afford it. Okay, okay. I'm not so, talking about the ones who can afford it. So, but what I don't like about that particular phrase, you rise know, is, like yeah, rise, it's just that it's objectifying women. It is a lady. It's a lady that says, Peter, for every, rise, kill, and eat. <laughs> not so even for, a man. There's always a flip side to everything. As, anyway. as long as there's corruption in this country, there will be rape. That's what, that's what I know. How do you mean? Um, well, they may, even they, in they, countries that don't have corruption, they no, have No, no, the kind of corruption we have, I mean. The way, the way we rise in life, um, where we don't care about anything except our goal, okay. that's makes, a you, makes you have that instinct. And you will apply it in other facets of your life. Mm -hmm. And that, so and I can, tell, I, can, I can tell you that mm -hmm. sex becomes one of the, the first ones you, that, that you will jump on to prove that 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 Conquest. is that you yeah that you know that you can do it in Abuja you can also do it with the women, um, so it's the mindset is all you know intertwined, I, and and yeah. sadly I think also that modern life is causing you know I am one of those who don't agree I think that women or men should should be decently dressed, and anybody who says it is not my dress that cost you to rape me, man or woman, mm. is missing the point. And is going to only lead to more of such things. What's, every, the, point? Every, What's every, the point they're missing? Every, the, the point they're missing is that it will make somebody want to rape you. So, so quite what frankly, then do we say so, about so, the so, minors so, who are raped? So, no, 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 no. no. We, I'm just stating a category. That's why I said okay. let's not remove a category and then that's the one that could give us problems later. Dress up. Because if you don't, there are men that are going to take that as, a, as an invitation to treat. And, and, if, and if you're wild if men, you're dressed, you're dressed they, no, 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 so no, dressed I know. up because there are wild men who can't control <laughs> themselves. Yes, That's it's not just that. And, it, yes. and, yeah, and, and, yeah. Vice, and, vi and vice versa. There are women also who will not control themselves okay, if a man presents himself in a particular way. I, I think that um, we can't you know, shut down this, avenues. Can, as, as Americans would say, we, you can walk and chew gum. They're two different things. There's, yeah. there's, a, there's a point you raised about predatory, about rape and mm -hmm. sexual violence and entitlement. There's also a point that uh, uh, Liberos raised about women. Uh, commoditizing themselves. Yes, <laughs> themselves. Yeah. And, and they're two, yeah. they, they, they're not, they're layered yeah. to it. And they're two, you know, as, as he said, they're people who, they're wild beasts mm. that look, appear to be human beings, even yeah. dressed in, in flowing nice agbadas, things. who are just animals. Um, and and le let's look at it from the point of view where the legal system is jeopardized by the corruption, yeah. which makes it exceedingly impossible for people who are victims to get justice. Mm -hmm. And that's the point that I think that needs but to be. Just before we wrap it up, yeah, um, um, uh, can I say something about sexual molestation in the workplace as mm. well, yeah. which is quite common in Nigeria yeah. today. Yeah. And nobody is fighting no. for no for anybody. Mm. Yeah. But it's there so are, prevalent. It's for. quite prevalent in the workplace. And a lot of people are victims no. and just yeah. clueless as to what to do to get justice yeah. or to even some... talk about yeah. it. Yeah. So it's something we need it's to key. look yeah. at. Yeah. 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 yeah, you're right. I mean, I, I, the time will fail me to start even going that too because the exactly. study was done into back India to talk about and it. how patriarchy affects their spite. You know what Libras is it's laughing? Linked. No, it, I, I would Libra. link it to a mindset, it's but a I know yeah, I agree with the Mecca. It is a major layered. problem. I agree. Yeah. There's several yeah. things to yeah. deal, yeah, exactly. but I wanted to I wanted to zoom in on one. Let's take one at a time. If you zoom in on one, you forget the others. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. We have we will be back here same time next week. It's always like this. Over before we've even begun. Just as well, we get to do it again same time next week. Fresh topics, no holds barred. Keep advocating with us on our social media platforms on Facebook, 
Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, please go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till then, let's keep advocating for a better society. Put bye bye. Your mic. Put your mic. <laughs> Off the mic, off the no mic. Fa no fainting. <laughs> five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. That's it, really it, 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 I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.